Ted Gein. Oh, oh. Let's see, tattooing, body piercing. Yeah. You know, I think I like you better when you're sloppy, drunk, and violent. You mean it? That's the only love could make you look at me differently. And booze. I'd like to announce the engagement of me and Jody Walker. <laughs> oh, Otis Nixon's twin sister. <laughs> Purposeful count, blood pressure, teeth all indicate extreme old age. And yet she's only in her late 200s. Would you help her up? When we are alone, I will speak. Well, we kind of are alone. Nursey isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> the nurse looks like she backed up over her own hair. The wilderness. I want to go to them. Just let me get out my coffee coupon here. All Why that you... I know <laughs> is that it has kept me alive many years beyond my time. And looking great. I would be young again. <laughs> Hey, look, she has an original Ray Kroc on the wall. <laughs> Could you set a value on it? All I'd say is worth about 400 gimlets. <laughs> well, we'd better camp here tonight. The next stock footage is 18 miles away. Oh, the map paintings of Africa are beautiful. Yeah. Let's see, I reach speeds of 70. She goes three miles an hour and I can't catch her. <laughs> Meanwhile, thousands of miles away in actual Africa. <laughs> and now back to our set. They're working themselves up or something. Thanks, Margaret Mead. <laughs> she looks like Lee Marvin. Scientist. Real Africa. Hollywood Africa. <laughs> it's Janet, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. M80's man got him in Wisconsin. We are safe as long as we stay away from the river's edge. That Crispin Glover is creepy. They rolled the tarp out on her face. Yeah, this is the 50s. Why am I explaining things to a woman? Get in the car! <laughs> Hey, what do you say we go home, turn up the thermostat to 85, and watch a little Matlock, eh? Yeah. I like young men very much. They're so nice. They shovel my snow in the winter. <laughs> it's a sauna suit. What, do you have to make weight tonight? <laughs> Old Hickory is dead. <sighs> then it couldn't have been Mrs. Talbot. A week ago, she was in New York. So was a murder. <laughs>